With which of the following statements about the conditions on Europa or the evolution of Europa's surface would both scientist 1 and scientist 2 most likely agree? The surface of Europa, the answer is A, is being shaped by the movement of ice. And let me show some evidence from uh, the passages written by each of the scientists that they believe this. First of all, scientist 1 says, the numerous cracks and dark bands in the surface this is part of the shape of europa surface ice closely resemble the appearance of thawing ice covering the polar oceans on earth only a substantial amount of circulating water can crack and rotate such large slabs of ice all right so the crack and rotation is the movement and this creates uh, cracks and dark bands in the appearance or the, the shape of Europa. Next, scientist two expresses a similar sentiment. Many of the features, this will be a shape on Europa's surface, resemble features created by flowing glaciers on Earth. And a glacier is flowing ice. But if you didn't know that, you could read on and see that that is flowing ice. It says, Large amounts of liquid water are not required for the creation of these features. If a thin layer of ice below the surface is much warmer than the surface ice, it may be able to flow and cause cracking and movement of the surface ice. All right, so once again, the shape of Europa is being dictated by the movement of ice. Both scientists agree with sentiment, sentiment A.